Hello everyone. In this tutorial I'm going to look at the DOM break but with a multi-phase. And we will look at what is the difference between the original DOM break with water and air interface and the DOM break with let's say mercury air and oil, okay? So let's get started. So here in this folder I have the original DOM break uh, case and here I was playing with the multi-phase one okay so let's look at our zero folder let me just make a copy here for the zero folder as well rename okay so in the original one we have only alpha water field velocity and a pressure but here we have alpha mercury and alpha oil as well as alpha air field okay these alpha field represent all the alpha so we can review everything in para v okay so let's I, I explain you what I did actually here I, I took the down break tutorial and convert into the multi-phase okay so alpha water file in the original one and alpha water file in the multi-phase one, both the same. So it's just a copy and paste. Close. What then I did, copy and paste the same alpha water file into, into the folder, okay? And just rename it. So that you can see it's still say alpha water here. So it was the alpha water files and I just rename it to mercury. Same with the oil one, okay? But alpha air file is different. For alpha air file, okay, the boundary condi uh, condition was used at alpha contact angle, okay, uh, with the 90 degree angle here and all of them. And if you, if you really want to look at and re find the reason why it has been used, I was following the paper here, which I will put into the link, explains very well about the whole tutorial, okay about the static contact angle, Y set to 90 degrees and et cetera, et cetera. You can play with it, you can change it to different one and you will find it, find it very useful. Once it's done, an extra file was created with zero gradient uh, boundary condition uh, just to analyze it, what it will look like in the pair of view, okay? Let's now look at the constant folder. And in the constant folder, we have transport properties. In the transport properties of normal one, we have a water and air with a sigma with our surface tension to 0 0.07. Obviously, with the uh, transport properties of the other one, we will have water, oil, mercury, air, and the sigma. Well, you can just put the sigma in this form as well which will just represent 0 0.07 and you can you can put in this form as well okay now with with you can change mercury and oil to anyone or you can add more more floors in it you just need to explain their properties to it okay now the next one is since we were running in laminar form so it just turbulence uh, turbulence property is laminar okay you can choose the K epsilon, K omega, and we will look into it in our later tutorial as well. Now, when it comes to system, okay, let me see block mesh. In the block mesh, we have everything defined, our geometry, but there here is scale is 0 0.146. In the new one, I have defined the block mesh, but I have changed the scale to just one, so I know how much uh, set fields I'm setting there, okay? Now let me have a look. With here, what we have, we have just an interform, since we are just dealing with water and air. In the control deck of multi-phase, we have multi-phase interform, okay? And it is very important you to put in your command line multi-phase interform, otherwise uh, it won't run. And rest of it's fine. Now let's have a look in a decompose par 
it's for subdomain here and it's a similar for subdomain i just copy across i did not change the fv scheme because it it will apply to all of them flirts okay and hence it wasn't required but fv solution here you have alpha dot water file uh, it will apply to all the water file but here what i did i change alpha water to just alpha dot star so it will apply to all all of them rather than just a water file okay and set fields okay so here we have in the set field just air and water but here we have in the set field for first of all we explain every every other field up in the default field values and then we explain in the different region and I have set up for different water is is zero to one and then for oil is one to one point five and then for mercury is one point five to two okay uh you can change it you can increase it let increase to four one point four to stop and two to four here two to four and let's change it here two to four up let's change it to two here and 1.5 here let's change it to 1.5 here okay and then just save it now what we need to do here let's run it now okay let's run it so i'm already in this folder so sorry about the background noise it just gets so let's say of23 clear um let's just start with block mesh yeah be lock mesh okay it run file then set field run uh since we would like to run in a parallel so decompose power decompose power okay so far so good now so mpi run p okay and then it's a multi-phase one so you just come at the end of this tutorial copy paste Parallel, enter. MPI run. Ah, see. NP four. That runs here. And let's just wait until it runs. Let me see what I'm having here. We re we need to do the reconstruction of it. This is zero. 0 0.65 0 0.575 okay let's see we just need to wait and see i will highly recommend you to read this paper uh, because after reading that paper i completely understand what i needed to it's in complete depth apart from that yeah it's it's just amazing paper
yeah it's done so now let's reconstruct it reconstruct power the powerful your computer is the easier it is to run to be honest I only have four cores so that's why it takes a little bit of time otherwise they should be run in seconds so let's run visualize it powerful okay Lie to the two. Let's look at all the alphas. It would have been better if I have, you know, run in a fine mesh. Zero point five. Let's let's look at in some other map. Nope. Something more why hmm. let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it, okay. Alphas here beautiful. You can visualize in different ones. Um, let's try the green one. Yeah, it, it's not let me see the difference. So Rambo is the best one. Okay, what else? What else can we do? You can take contour of different things and and visualize it differently. Streamlines, glyph, etc., etc. Yeah, but. Basically, that's the way you run your multi-phase tutorial here. What else I have done here? So I have run a couple of other tutorial with the rather lowest density, uh, uh, lowest density material, highest density material, and the sea water field with the water rather than water and air, which I will discuss with you guys in the next tutorials okay if you really think i am doing a good job here please uh, do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button thank you